What's up, Power Maniacs? Power Stasis here. We are back in the world of FTB, specifically Dungecraft. Damn it, I don't remember where the hole is. I want to say it's right here, but... Uh, actually, I think it's right... Uh, damn it, I'm going to break something that I don't want to break. Yeah, I'm off. Oh, well. Ah, I was two blocks short. Oh, well. Uh, we've still got the stuff. Anyways, what we're going to do today, um, Direwolf 20's FTB mod pack or whatever um, recently was updated. And this update uh, brought in something called Tesseracts. And Tesseracts are basically the equivalent of teleport pipes from uh, more pipes or something. One of the other mod packs. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working towards switching from a peat system which was really cool, you know, for when it was there. But uh, at the current moment, I'm a little tired of Pete because it just... Oh, Jesus. Um, Hi. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Dude, these are those angry zombies that come with uh, Thomcraft. And, well, maybe that wasn't one, but there are some angry zombies with Thomcraft, and they are ridiculous. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be switching over to a magmatic set, or mag magma engine... I think, I think that's what it's called. Oh, bother. That is going to be a, whoa, don't want, don't want to bust that one open. That would end badly for me. Um, hmm, okay. What we're going to do here, kind of rig the system a little bit, put you there, put you there, hopefully. There we go, and right there. What I'm doing now is we're getting uh, obsidian, which we need for uh, a, a nether portal. And we're basically going to be moving to the nether and setting up a power station in the nether. And when I say a power station, I mean we're going to probably have 10 to 20 um, mag magma engines. Well, let's just look it up. I always forget the name. Magmatic engine. There we go. Magmatic engines. Uh, and they can produce, I believe, up to four uh, MJs per tick. So uh, right now, 10 peat engines running on base is going to net me uh, roughly uh, 10 MJs. And if I use bilutimus, whatever the hell it is, then I get upgraded from one to two per tick. But that's still just, you know, it, it's just not enough. We need drastic amounts of power. I mean, we don't really need it yet, but... Over time, we're going to need more and more and more as we build our base. And it's magmatic engines, uh, I don't believe, are too expensive. Of course, now that I think about it, I haven't actually looked. So I probably should take a look. Invar gear? What the hell is an Invar gear? Oh, son of a bitch! <sighs> so, okay. I'm going to have to make a minimum stone and some charcoal and Invar blend, which is... Iron dust, pulverized iron, and ferrous metal, which is iron ore. Oh, poopy flavored ice cream. Okay, well, that's not too bad. I mean, I've, I've got all that stuff minus the minium stone, and we'll be able to get that shortly. So I don't think that's going to be too terrible. I've also got five ender pearls. Now, I need to get permission from the rest of the guys on the server. And, ah, shit, no! No, oh, son of a bitch, get it. All right, so after I went and killed a few puppies, uh, I think I actually got pretty lucky there because all of my stuff, I managed to swim to the top right as I explodified, and I didn't actually lose anything. So, oh, actually, that's not true. I did lose my obsidian. So that could have been a lot worse than it was. <sighs> and you guys get your nice rage quota for the day. Nothing like getting butt-pounded by this game. Anyways, uh... What we're going to be doing over the next couple episodes is slowly switching to a magmatic setup, which will allow me... Oh, you little f fucker. Which will allow me to kill this son of a bitch. You know, we're going to get my sword out. If I can catch you! Oh, oh, he's kiting me. Okay, there you go. Oh, God, don't want to go into lava. Anyways, that's going to allow us to produce a massive amount of power, which should make certain things a little bit easier... Uh, especially some of the, the larger productions that we're going to want to make um, do later on. And I want to be using mainly the thermal expansion, which is an expansion I am 
pretty much in love with. Did I get that actually? Yes, I did. So, so you guys don't have to watch me do this and possibly die and fail again. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the last little bit of the subsidian that I need off camera and we will pick up once I've got it all done and sorted my friends and then uh, we will probably move into the nether for a little bit, secure a base. I'm gonna have to build another tank we're going to build a much more massive one than we built last time and see how things go. All right. So after much uh, fighting and thankfully no dying, we have gotten an appropriate amount of stuff. And I kind of, I had to redo this too because this was actually a three wide and it, it just didn't look right. And I knew the OCD people in my audience would flip a shit if I didn't fix it. So, and uh, yes, I'm talking about you, Wayne. Yes, I know it would be you. All right, so is that perfect? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we do that there, that there. Now, I was gonna try and put this up on the wizard's tower up there. Unfortunately, it just didn't fit. Uh, not without like completely redoing the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, brain, not working, brain the melting. Uh, without redoing the whole uh, roof system and I'm lazy, so sorry. Oh, what? I thought obsidian stairs were totally there. Oh, please tell me there's obsidian stairs. Stairs, oh, how are there not obsidian stairs? There are ebony stairs, ebony doesn't even exist. Ugh, buttholes. All right, well, we're just gonna do some butt, we're just gonna cheat and put ebony stairs in because they almost look like it. Not even, fuck, not even close, oh well. We're gonna go ahead and commit to it anyway, cause that's just how I roll. <laughs> that is awful looking. I may surround these with nether brick stairs a little bit later. That's not too terrible, right guys? And it still doesn't feel like it lines up. Does it look off to y'all or is it just me? I mean, this is two blocks wide, that's two blocks wide. I mean, like literally this is, it is off. Son of a bitch. I tried to make, oh well, fuck it. It wouldn't be a pyro video if uh, we weren't completely wrecking the shit out of something. Okay, so now what we need is we need one flint, which I sadly do not have on top of me, and one, actually we're gonna go, it, it's actually sad that my secret entrance outside of my base is faster to get into my base than it is through the appropriate means. I think I've got flint over here though. And I've only been to the nether once uh, on this, what do you call it, uh, server, and it, it was not a good experience. I was in there long enough to get my um, glowstone that I thought I needed, which it turned out I didn't need. Oh, I lost all my iron, are you serious? Oh, okay, so we lost, we apparently did lose a few things in the fire. Apparently 27 or 30, oh God. Drew, I murdered all of these things this morning and they're still showing up. I swear he's got a spawner hidden in here somewhere. Oh, I will. Oh, Drew, I hate you. Oh, but Chris, I thought you loved snow. Shut up, troll. All right, where's my iron? Surely to God, I've got some iron in here somewhere. I think I've got ferrous. There we go. We've got, oh, we've only got one ferrous. We're going to need a lot more than that for magmatic engines. Uh, is that iron? Thank you, God. Okay, now we're good. We can light this shit on fire and end our day. There we go. Or is it like that? Or like that? There we go. Get it figured out eventually. All right. Yeah, yesterday I was wondering how Drew had managed to uh, cover everything with snow. And it seems like uh, what he did was he, uh, he didn't actually... Uh, what do you call it? Wow, I cannot talk today. He didn't actually plant all this snow. He just made a bunch of snowmen, which apparently leave snow in their wake when they walk around. All right, we now have another portal. I'm going to walk through. And then we're going to walk through back and probably end up in Max's house, I'm thinking. Okay, so there's some magma over here. This is, oh, wow, that's nowhere near enough magma. We're gonna need a lot more than that. Oh God. Oh, that's a, no, that's not a good amount either. Son of a bitch. All right, let's see where we end up. 
Hopefully in a nice place that isn't Max's house. Damn it! Well, this is Max's house. I think we want to go down. I don't know why I always end up in Max's house. I don't want to go to Max's house. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with Max's house. It's just, you know, not mine. I know there's a way, apparently, to link, um, what do you call it, portals with Mistcraft so that you can set them up to where they only go to certain places. So I may end up doing that. Oh, one of my snowmen has gotten loose. <laughs> It'd be funny if they started reproducing and they took over the server. They were there long after Pyro, Silent Mist, Steve, and Nethervoid died. Okay, so at this point, um, I need to make a Magma Crucible. This is a item that's going to allow me... I believe this is a thermal expansion item. Yep. Two pieces of nether brick. And of course, I just... Oh, no, I actually have two pieces of nether brick, don't I? Oh, suck it! He tried to fuck me over, but I was ready for it. Okay, so let's head back over to our base. We're going to go ahead and make those two things real quick, and then we'll show you guys how we're going to utilize this. So we've got our magma crucible that I've just made. The recipe is fairly simple. Um, here you go. That's all you really need. Pretty basic, and then we used our two nether brick that we had from part of our castle that uh, actually I just realized I'm not going to be able to replace over there easily. Uh, and I bring it over here. At first, I... Thought I knew I was bringing it over here, but now I'm, I'm a little... Well, actually, yeah. What we're basically going to be doing... The reason we need the Magna Crucible is we're going to be making Tesseracts. Now, Tesseracts are the coolest things ever. Uh, these are technically four-dimensional objects, and I, I don't understand the whole stuff behind that. Somebody that is a little bit more science-savvy than Star Trek will probably know uh, and be able to explain what a four-dimensional object is that doesn't count as time, which is, I believe, is theoretically impossible, but apparently not. So anyways, these are them. Uh, you've got energy, liquid, and item, and then you've got your Tesseract frame and your untuned Tesseract. Now, your Tesseract frame is fairly expensive, as you can see. You gotta use uh, pulverized obsidian and lead to make the hardened glass. And this right here is your base setup. So you build these first before you even build these. Once you've got this, then you need to turn it into a unattuned tesseract, which will allow, you gotta have molten ender, which we will be showing you how to make here in a second. And then you can use the unattuned, uh, what do you call it, uh, tesseract, to make either one of these. So I will be doing a tutorial on how to use these later on. Um, they're basically just like teleport pipes. So if you can use teleport pipes, you can use these and it's really not that big a deal. All right, so we've got our little magma crucible here. This is a thermal expansion item. It's very similar to everything else in thermal expansion. We're gonna go ahead and steal you off of the back of this Coke engine or Coke oven. Do you have any peat in you? No. Um, Anyways, the hardest part of this recipe is simply you need the ender pearls. Um, I do have an idea for ender pearls. I just need to get permission from John to utilize that. If I've got permission, we will be uh, making a rather large amount of ender pearls. And it's going to be absolutely awesome because it's one of those things I'm going to make. Not because it really has any actual um, need, so to speak, but it, it'll just look cool. So we will be adding two more tanks here. Both of them are probably, well, one of them is going to be a super tank. Uh, we may actually make two super tanks. Uh, but anyways, how do you make magma or ender juice, whatever it's called? Let's go ahead and place this here. Bam. All right, so now that that's down, let's go ahead and put some peat in it. That will, oh, and then I need the redstone signal. Thank you, sir. I'll drop you there and it's moving along and you'll see this is starting to flow up okay so with the magma crucible we just want to put our ender pearls here and this is going to take a rather nasty amount of juice from what i understand and this may take a while uh to go but what this is basically going to do is this will heat this up and produce uh what is it uh molten 
end molten ender i think is what it's called and then that is what we'll need to put into a liquid transposer which is another one of these machines so we'll be connecting him right next to here that's actually i believe the machine we've got outside over there by that thing and this over here is going to fill up with that and then we will transfer that to the liquid transposer and then once you've got that in there then you slap the unattuned tesseract inside of that and then the liquid ender stuff or molten end pull, pours over it and makes the unattuned tesseract and then from there we combine it into either energy liquid or item so should it be interesting uh, i had really hoped to be able to showcase this so i could show you but it is looking like it's gonna take a little bit. So we're gonna give this a minute or two to fire up. Maximum power received is 30 megajoules a tick. That's pretty good power. <laughs> That's a lot of power. All right, well, I'm gonna let this charge up a minute and as soon as it starts running, I will show you guys how it works. All right, so I've put the Ender back in. Um, I don't know what happened. I think as soon as I picked it up and dropped it back on, it started doing its thing again, which was nice. But as you can see, the fluid is moving and we now have a little bit of Molten End. And these are gonna, or Molten Ender, and these are gonna take a little while to produce. And this is a, a TE liquid only. Uh, as you can tell, we are going to need quite a bit of these, and it takes about 3,000 juice to cycle one of these. So we will be actually making an ender farm in the end, assuming we are given the go-ahead. I've already found the end entrance, the end portal, and a really cool volcano that I'd like to show you guys. But I think the guys may want to do something special for the end first. So if they do, we will take care of that first, and then we will finish this project. So we may end up skipping around a little bit not that we haven't already done that so but i wanted to show you guys how to do this uh and then in the next episode hopefully i can show you guys my ender uh enderman farm and then how we're going to use the enderman juice the love juice from the endermans um to make the tesseracts and then the tesseracts to automate all of this and make a really badass magmatic farm so hopefully you guys are liking this series. If you do, please give the video a like. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.